23. Kalu urges Buhari to pay Kala 1, advises Tunambu Usibanjo to drop beat. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Senator Ojus Okalu has congratulated the People's Democratic Party PDP for electing Natiku Abubakar as its 2023 presidential candidate. In his Facebook post on Sunday, May 29th, Kalu was pleased that Atiku is from the Northeast because, in his view, the region should produce the next president. Therefore, the former Abia state governor called on the All Progressive Congress APC to pick Lawan Ahmed, the Senate president, as its flag bearer ahead of the forthcoming election. He advised all other aspirants to drop the ambition for Lawan, who is equal from the northeastern part of Nigeria. Even more, the Senate Chief Whip urged President Mohamed Dubari to pick Lawan as a successor, arguing that this is what is expected in a democratic setting. He went on to state that it will be equity for the southeast if a president of northeastern structure emerges, adding that the talk about a southern presidency is no longer visible except the APC wants to go on political retirement. His words, congratulations to the People Democratic Party for electing a Northeasterner. Nigerians must have seen what I saw yesterday. For our party, the APC, it is no longer visible to talk about Southern candidates, except the APC wants to go on political retirement. I urge the national chairman of a party and the entire North and the entire national working team National Working Committee to stamp their feet and zone APC presidential ticket to the Northeast. President Muhammad Buhari has a right to choose a successor, and I call on him to pick Senator Ahmed Lawan as a successor. In every democratic setting, presidents and governors of support and pick their support their successors. I call on President Buhari to pick a successor from the Northeast, and that will be the equity the Southeast needs. With the North East, the cycle will be closer to the completion of regions producing the president of Nigeria. By now, all APC aspirants should drop the ambition and support a North Easterner. Senator Ahmad Lawan is the destination. Congratulations to the North East as we look forward to a president of Nigeria from the North East. Well, uh, this narration, like I said, some people are always coming out. This is what they are going to say. If you're talking about the two zones that have been marginalized, I'll talk about the North Central have produced the vice president before. But you said the North East. Ah. They have not and the South is these two people have not. But the South East voice is louder because the South is like I said, people are different. The South East they are they are they, they cannot what they cannot tolerate, they will not they will not bear, they will not bear it at all. The South East are always in front of the ones saying this is not fair and this is not this is not how it is supposed to be. They are should I say they are blonde people. They don't they don't they don't they look face, they don't mean words, they don't pamper anything, you understand? That's how they roll. Okay, if APC picks Lam Ahmed Lawan today, he cannot win at Iku Abubakar, forget it. And that is another truth. What kind of political um this thing does um Ahmed Lawan has? That's another thing. Ahmed Lawan that woke up which day? Which day did he declare for presidency? Until then, I never, we never knew that he was declaring. He never gave himself away, except he has been working on the on the as in as he has been working from the on, on the background. Except he did his homework well before he came out to say he wants to become. But I can tell you, with the kind of politics we are playing, I think we we'll stand a chance than the world. That man called Kanu is a self-centered person who does not love this country at all, but a pocket. Who that will be chosen other than Northern at this point in time, knowing the mentality of an Irish Northerner politically? Well, you both people just want to be president without struggle. Now, Kalu, you are against. Well, I don't think so. Whenever people call and say Igbo people want to be president without, is there a way they can be president without? struggle. It's not possible. I want to be president. I rather wahala for Nigeria. We will borrow more. I'm telling you, because he's he was the one there and a lot of things went. I don't know why whenever people come and talk they don't look at 
Lawan, what, 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 what did he do with his office, first of all? Can you call him a, a 79, 80, or even 80 plus on this, his particular office now, his most recent office? Can you? No. You are a disgrace to Igbo nation. You are the worst political idiot in Igbo land. I think Kalu is wise in this one because there is no way an Eastern will be elected without the support of our Southern brothers. Whereby they betray us. No option is left than to behave in that way. Like I said, Kalu is one of the persons when I said he would prefer a North Easterner to come out because a North Easterner too, they have been marginalized. Then a South Easterner. And his own, why he is going to support a North Easterner is because he believes after the North Easterner, the South, after eight years, you know, everything will come back to the South and they can start discussing about the South Eastern presidency again. But if it goes to the south, maybe the south south or the southwest, it is going to be very long. That is, it's not be after sixteen years. They not will after the southeast, uh, the south westerner or south southerner, the north east, and then finally, uh, the, the the south eastern will not start clamoring again. So to him, it is the shortest route. But I think he also has an agenda apart from. What I just said. I think with the way this is going, he has an agenda. I have said it most times. I said it times. No numbers, the Igbos. I said this number of times that Igbos are the problem of themselves. Most of them are self centered and selfish. People can hear or see what this prisoner is talking. He doesn't care for the future of his children or others. It is a pity. And his people will be still celebrating him and his like at home instead of stoning their heads for factual research. Stoning which heads? Can you hear this? Can you hear what this one is saying? That's that Buhari has the right to pick his successor. He was doing this because he wanted to be VP to Lawan. Exactly. That is why I said he has, he has his own ambition. He has his own ambition. It is not right to call the fellow man all these horrible names because he did not represent your view. Let's put the position, let's put herself in the position of others. Okay. I wonder how a Southerner can talk like this. What should you expect from Moji Kalu, slave to the Northerner, saying rubbish? Politics is like a chameleon which changes color according to the surrounding. Now, with PDP hours, put APC's feet with what to do. Kalu is aiming. As Senate President, no wonder he avoided the national, avoided the presidential race. He's campaigning for Lawan now. Smart guy. <laughs> Smart guy indeed. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you.